some broken out windows. All the paneling on the back is in pretty rough shape. Needs to be replaced. Some more broken windows there. Foundation on the back is sagging in towards the middle of the house. Foundation guy said it's going to be almost $3,000 to fix and level it out. There's no doors, just the bars. Here's the converted garage. The concrete foundation he said was okay. He said this was no problem up here. It just needs to be refloored. There's no sink. They left the dishwasher. I don't think that works though. There's the utility hookups for washer and dryer. There's some open holes here. There's no water heater. That's not too bad though. Here's towards the back of the house now. This is where the foundation is kind of wobbly. It would, would be the master bedroom. Bath in there. There's where the AC unit used to be. Completely gutted out. It's got gas though for the furnace. Here's the master closet with daylight from outside visible through there. cabinets in the bathrooms. Here's the first bedroom at the front of the house. It's a, it's a little sheetrock damage. In the closet's okay. This room just really needs to be repainted. It's a little bit of damage there on the wall. Looks like somebody was uh, exploring their creative side in here. Just threw black paint all over the walls. And all over the floor. There's the return for the AC on the other side. That it's missing the bathroom here. Missing the cabinets. There's a dead rat. And that's about it for the house on Campfire Lane. What is kind of nice is it's right next to this community center open property. The backyard is actually really big. So you can see from here the fence where it kind of runs. So, you know, for a family with kids, this would be a, a nice place for them to stretch their legs out.